This uh, video segment is about an uh, icon and a functionality that is present in the 3D experience uh, release 2024, which is called uh, assembly pattern. Now there is there is not a, a counterpart of this in the Katia program, and uh, the closest thing that comes to something like that will be shown to you later. Okay, now here's the situation. Uh, we have uh, a part made in an assembly. And what we like to do, create a pattern, specifically in this tutorial, tutorial four is gonna be a rectangular pattern, okay? In the, the next two tutorials, five and six, I'll do the circular one and uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the user-defined one. Please do not, uh, uh, do not uh, misunderstand that this is the same thing that you see in part design because you also have in part design something called rectangular pattern, circular pattern, and they're user defined. This is not in the part design workbench. It is actually in the assembly design workbench or application as they're called in uh, uh, 3D experience. So uh, you can see that on the, if you select the assembly tab, here's the assembly uh, assembly pattern, which is which will be shown to you in a minute. The documentation is not very helpful, and my guess is that uh, they added this thing in a rush, and uh, basically uh, decided not to invest too too much time in explaining it. All right. And when you use this thing, quite a few things are going to be created in the tree that are totally unnecessary and they can be deleted, as I will show you. Okay. Uh, I mentioned that in Katia V5, there is something that may be coming close to this. It's not called assembly pattern, but uh, there's something called uh, instantiation on a pattern. And it's really this this toolbar and the corresponding dialog box is shown here, but I'm not going to worry about it. Now, in uh, the uh, uh, 3D experience, when you click on that assembly pattern, this dialog box show, shows up. And notice that first of all, component or part or product to be to be patterned. That's obvious. That in other words, the selection of this box, this uh, 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 selection box is the uh, the part itself. But here, the second one is actually where you have the opportunity to change it to uh, rectangular, circular, or user. But I think by default is rectangular, but you can change it to circular and user as you'll see in the next tutorials. Now, when you do that, uh, a, a, uh, a dialog box shows up and you just say uh, create it. And uh, when you, when you, this, this, uh, the uh, dialog box opens up and first of all, these uh, uh, first direction and second direction, these tabs are not automatically picked by the computer. So you have to actually select it so that it's highlighted and then you go and select the, the proper direction that you want. But the thing that's puzzling is this thing on the top. Because when you read this thing, it gives you, or at least it gave me the impression that they they want you to select the object to be patterned. Well, we already did that. And in fact, if you go and select that, you're gonna, you're gonna confront a, an error message saying that you can't do it. So by, my, uh, by, by experimentation, I found out that what you need to do is select something related from the wireframe associated with uh, uh, this uh, object. For example, a point or a line or even a plane, a reference plane will allow you to proceed further. Here's a documentation for uh, for uh, rectangular assembly pattern, but unfortunately, as I said, it's not very helpful. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, uh, create an assembly. Assembly design. Okay, and we're gonna make a part. Now, <clears throat> remember, when it comes to uh, when it comes to creating a rectangular pattern, you need two directions, okay? Uh, so these directions can be actually created from a 
you know, for example, the edges of another part or some lines that are drawn in space, or you can actually create it based on the direction associated with a coordinate system. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, I can create that coordinate system now, or I can do it after I do the, the part. So let me actually do that now. Access system, that's the name. Okay, so uh, this is a product. Create a new one. That's the name of it. This is basically my uh, corner system holder. Okay, so we say, okay. So notice what happened is that automatically a corner system was created here. Fine. That has no other feature. That's the only thing that we're going to do to this. Now we're going to go and insert our 3D part, insert new uh, 3D part, which is, means that I'm, I'm going to make something which I want a pattern. Okay, so let me move this thing here. Uh, double click on this to go to part design. On that plane, I will sketch a rectangle and then I'm going to pad. Or uh, you know what? Uh, actually, let me let me do it like this. So I'll, I'll draw some uh, weird shape, uh, maybe uh, something like this. Exit, exit, and pad. Good. Okay. So we want to create a rectangular pattern for this. Okay. Now we go all the way to the top level assembly right there so that we end up in assembly design and click on the assembly pattern. By default, that is actually a rectangular one. You can see that if you right click and select this, it says, uh, you know, first one is rectangular. Uh, now, over here, we select the object to be pattern, or a pattern. So it's going to be this piece. Okay, good. And uh, 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 right here, we can right click, create rectangular pattern. Okay. So this box shows up and you say, okay, create it. All right. So what we have now is this guy. Okay. And this is what I was talking about. Object to pattern. I would have expected this to be the part, but let's leave that blank right now and see what happens okay so we go back to our uh, uh, interface here so for the reference direction one this is direction one you select this so that it's blue highlighted and you can select it from for example let's say this direction direction y and let's make uh, three instances of it and they're say distance 40 or 50 millimeters apart Okay, click on the second direction for direction two. Let's select the, for example, uh, you see, I can't pick it unless you go and select this, make it blue highlighted, Z. Okay, and we make that thing uh, five. Okay, and maybe distance is, uh, I don't know, maybe 60. Okay, good. Notice that we can't close this. See that? I can't close this. So the question is, what do we do here? Obviously, because this is not selected. Now, if I go and select this, I'll get an error message. It says, select something from GSD. Uh, GSD stands for Generative Shape Design. But anyway, what I can do is, for example, you can go ahead and say, insert wireframe a point or a line, and then go and select a point, et cetera. But the alternative is that select one of these uh, planes associated with uh, with this. So for example, let me select, uh, 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 let me select, now there, there may be some uh, rules on how this plane is, but let's try X, Y and see what happens, okay? Uh, but that's it. So we say, okay, and there we are. Okay, so you see a lot of junk is created here. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna hide all these planes. You know how to do that. You go to Control F, Control Find, find all the planes, all the planes, 
select them and once they're selected you just hide it right click hide a lot of things are. now these this plane that i selected uh can also be uh, hidden but the easy way of doing that is first of all you notice that there's a lot of garbage generated here if you double click let me let me go up here for example right here all of these things they can be deleted as a matter of fact the entire engineering connection can be deleted if it lets you do that so let's try it right click well maybe not so am i here where am i here i'm here okay can i delete the engineering connection itself all of them at the same time no so what i can select this and all the way with shift all the way to down here I'm going to delete all of these okay and uh, nothing those are totally useless actually i can delete this delete this nothing so you go up here there are these planes there are these planes that remember we uh, uh we we uh created them but uh, we we can select those things and uh, hide, uh, uh, hide them too so uh, what's the best way of doing this thing uh let me see if we can go ahead and uh do a control f uh, the interesting thing is that uh, those things were not oh uh here here's the situation that plane that we created original plane this one okay uh can i uh can i hide it yeah it's all gone so obviously i can't delete this thing but the look of it i can't delete it even if i go here let me go there see if i can delete it well i guess you can delete it here instead of hiding it you can delete it too so i don't know uh, this is not hard but my guess is that it was done in a rush now notice that i did not put enough distance between these things so uh uh let me go ahead and uh, maybe the distance that I put was too, too big. Let's see if we can resize this thing so it looks better. Uh, it's in this pad. This was the original pad right there. Let me see for a second. That was the original one. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, now you can see it better. Exit. There we are. Useful. Not obvious. And... Some of the stuff is unnecessary. All right, folks, good luck. Uh, next tutorial is going to be for circular pattern. I didn't want to, didn't want to add these together because they, they can become 